Good girl. Here. Fetch. Oh, that's my arm. Good girl. Good girl. On with the show. Welcome back to Creatures, Cowers, and Crafting. Today in front of me, I have the Plasticville playset. This basically comes with three mobile homes inside of it. Purchased this for about $25 off Amazon with free shipping. Really great deal. This is an O scale. We'll go ahead and open it up so you guys get a look at it. It doesn't look like much, but guys, this has great potential. We're going to paint this up to meet our post-apocalyptic games. Uh, you could also use this for other games like Zombie Side. Uh, so let's see what we can create today. First off, we're going to go ahead and start putting together the main body. This easily snaps together, and we're going to just secure it using a little bit of super glue. Next, we're going to go ahead and start to prime the main body of the trailer. Now, I suggest that you do this in stages. This I used a dark brown for, and the others I'm going to hit with probably a silver. You'll see that here later on. For rust effects, I'm going to use a little bit of chipping medium. You can use a brush to apply this. I'm going to use an air gun. Guys, if you have those tools, go ahead and use them. The only way you're going to get better is to do that. We're just going to lightly spray that chipping medium on give it about 30 minutes to dry and then we're going to hit it with a white overcoat the white overcoat i'm going to use is going to be an airbrush white or you can use a standard acrylic or even a Vallejo. Uh, it's key that you use an acrylic because we're going to remove it so next we're going to take a toothbrush and we're going to add a little bit of water and gently start to go over the paint like so uh, guys this is really easy to get off uh, especially if you're using that chipping medium so you don't have to put a lot of elbow grease into this if you're new to my videos i have a couple of other options such as salting or using hairspray or glue for your rust effects but chipping medium is an easier method um, and it's a great addition to your craft supplies so uh, definitely check it out and here we have the trailer after we've brushed it thoroughly uh, also want to remove any excess water so just take a napkin and dab that off uh, let this thoroughly dry guys next we're going to prime the remaining parts using a plate mail uh, this is by army painter but you can use any silver primer that you like next we're going to go ahead and pop in our windows and now we're going to start adding some weathering techniques i'm going to use a burnt sienna and a sepia wash for this uh, you can take a applicator like a makeup applicator or a sponge just kind of start dabbing this on also you can see here where I've already done this on this side and I want to show you guys one other thing here I'm starting to take some tin foil and I'm just going to block out a few windows I'm also going to use some plastic packaging uh, and put that in there uh, just to kind of mimic a window and then also we can use paper towels for curtains now if you want to take things further you can add a more barricaded look by just simply using some popsicle sticks uh, you can also use some corrugated paper uh, notice I've painted these to kind of offset that rusted background uh, you can also use screening this comes from like window screens or screen doors and just cut that to fit and it'll add a nice fencing look next we're going to dull down all the silver uh, prime parts that we have here we have the roof and notice I'm just kind of lightly spraying the brown on top of this this is going to really mute that silver uh, here in the next video you're going to get a better look at it and here's our roof notice I did paint a piece of paper towel I'm going to use it as a tarp on top I'm also going to add some pigments to this and to get them to stick I'm going to apply some rubbing alcohol and I'm going to spray this on and simply just take a brush and kind of lightly go over it and build uh, also what you can do is add other accessories um, I've got some sandbags that I've made uh, just some bits and pieces remember this is post apocalypse so just have fun with it if you have pets maybe take some time and play with them at this point uh, especially why it's beautiful when the sun's out And for our final touches, we're just going to add our door and our steps here. Uh, same chipping method as before. If you want to take this a little further, you can add some details to the inside. I'm going to show you another trailer that I did. Uh, here is the second trailer. Notice I did have a canopy for this one that I left on. Uh, on this one, I did not add that. Uh, let's take a look on the inside of this. Uh, and guys, this is very straightforward. I just printed off 
uh, the flooring using some paper added a wall and the sink toilet and bathtub are by TT combat I just painted those up added some water effects uh, guys not a lot of room for this but uh, if you want to go that extra mile it may be worth it may not uh, again not a lot of room to play in Detective Roy Shepard, case 3427, known in the media as the Greenfield Horror Road Show, or the Trailer Park Blood Pack. Persons of interest is a one Mr. Henry Whistle Barclay. He is the spiritual leader of the Hermetic Order of the Green Valley. The group currently resides illegally in the wetlands of the South Croatan Forest. Evidence shows that the group is rumored to practice cult magic such as blood sacrifice. These are people that the world forgot and they like it that way. <laughs> Hey guys, that's a wrap for this week, and we reached our 500 subscriber milestone. Thank you very much for doing that. We're going to continue to try to grow this channel as much as possible. Guys, if you haven't already, check out Neon Lords of the Toxic Wasteland. Awesome Kickstarter. Great creators. Uh, you're going to really like their content. Please be safe out there. I wish nothing but the best to you, your friends, and your family. Stay safe out there. We'll catch you next week. Goodbye, guys.